Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Coach Jeff here with ICM Academy, and today I'm going to take you guys through a tennis ball workout. So if you're a point guard, shooting guard, or whatever position you play, and you're trying to improve your handles and your dribbling skills, this is going to be the perfect video for you because when you can dribble a tennis ball, you could definitely dribble a basketball, all right? So if this is your first time here, welcome. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos that comes out. For all my subscribers, welcome back. It's good to see you guys again. So before we get into the video, if you want to get some Asiyama Academy apparel, we got a lot of different options. Just go to AsiyamaAcademyApparel.com. Now with that being said, let's get straight into the video. What we like to do, man? Asiyama Academy. So I have a free shooting plan workout. All right, if you guys are interested, all you have to do is email me at asiyamaacademy at gmail.com. It's a good shooting workout, all right? It gives you the basics from how you can start close to the rim and work your way out, okay? And help you become a better shooter, all right? So I'll send it to you for free. All you gotta do is email me at asiyamaacademy at gmail.com and I'll send it right over to you. There's no strings attached, there's no catch, Nothing like that. Just send me an email. I got you. I'll send it right over to you. Okay. It's a free shooting workout. All right. It's going to help you become a better shooter. So you want to be a ball handler. You want to have the tight dribbles. This right here, this right here is going to help you a lot. So we're going to do what we usually do with basketballs. The same exact thing, except you just have a tennis ball. All right. So the first thing you're doing is you're going to bounce the ball right as if you're bouncing the basketball you're gonna have your off hand up you're gonna stay low same exact thing right off your fingertips all right you're gonna bounce it basically your wrist has to go like this so it doesn't necessarily have to go off your fingertips but you have to do this motion because when you dribble a basketball it comes like this right when you're dribbling it goes right off your wrist so you don't want to hit it like this you want to go like this right off your wrist. So you're bouncing it, you're pounding it, all right? You're pounding it, regular dribble pounds up to your knees. Okay, you could do this for 30 seconds. And then right after that, you could do really low. All right, you go really low, you keep your head up for 30 seconds, okay? And then right after you do the 30 seconds, you try to pound it up high. You pound it up high. All right, you pound it up high, okay? So you want to just try to get that rhythm going as if you're dribbling a basketball. All right, so you do that for 30 seconds. Now you're going to switch, okay? You're going to switch, and you're going to go with the left hand. The reason why we don't start up here or we don't start down here is because we want to simulate it like we're dribbling a basketball. And when you're dribbling the basketball, usually you're right here when you dribble, right? But to be honest, you can start from anywhere you want. But I would recommend that you start from right here. Okay, so you got your head up, right? You're pounding it. Your wrist is flicking, right? And look, if you lose it, you just get it right back. You just get it right back. All right, so 30 seconds. So now you're gonna go low for 30 seconds. Remember, your offhand is up. And if you mess up, you just go right back to it. That's fine. All right, so you pound it really low for 30 seconds. And then you go up high. All right, so you go up high just like that. Boom. It could be tough with a tennis ball, but like I told you, once you get control of doing it with the tennis ball, basketball is, is nothing at that point. All right, so now, boom. So now you've done 30 seconds going up high, 30 seconds up to your knees, 30 seconds down low. Okay, so now, right after that, this is what we're doing next. We're going back and forth, but the tennis ball is gonna stay within our knees. So it's not gonna go outside our knees right now. It's gonna stay in between. So we're gonna keep it controlled and we're gonna just have it inside. All right, inside, you're gonna have your head up, back and forth, 
30 seconds. Yep, see I messed up. See I messed up, that's fine. You just get it right back. All right, you get it right back and you just go. If you have your phone, you can use that as a timer. Maybe you got a watch or you could go with a partner. You get your partner to count and then you switch and then you count, 30 seconds each. So now after that, what you would do is you would start going outside your knees. So you're going here, you're stretching it out. All right, you're going outside. All right, you're back and forth. You keep your head up. You go at your pace. All right, so whatever is good for you, you go at that pace. So you just keep going. 30 seconds outside the knee. All right, so look, you just see I messed up. That's fine. You get it right back. Don't be discouraged. You just get it right back and you keep going. I'm telling you, that tennis ball is tricky. It's tricky with that ball, man. Ah, it's tricky with that tennis ball, man. It's tricky. So you look, you just go back and forth. You go at your own pace. Boom. All right, so you go 30 seconds. One thing I want to say real quick, a lot of young players like to get discouraged when they mess up. If you miss three, four shots in a row, oh, I'm trash, my shot is off. You're trying to do dribbling drills. Oh, I'm trash, I keep losing the ball. This and that, this and that, this and that. Look, just stop that, okay, just stop that. You are a basketball player, you're a young basketball player, and you're developing, right? If your favorite basketball player is missing jump shots, if your favorite basketball player is turning the ball over, why do you have to be perfect, right? So it's all about you keeping your head up and you just improving day after day after day. At this stage in your life, making mistakes is a good thing, all right? Making mistakes is a good thing because you're pushing yourself beyond limits. You're expanding your memory. Look, if you do this for seven days straight, outside seven days straight i guarantee you're gonna be doing this like it's nothing and if you could do this like it's nothing you go get a basketball and now imagine what you could do with that basketball all right so stay focused do not be discouraged if i'm messing up you're gonna mess up and if you mess up that's fine you get the ball back and you just keep going don't get discouraged what you're gonna do now is you're gonna be here at the baseline you're gonna dribble the ball with your right hand, you're just going straight. Your off hand is up. All right, you're gonna keep your head up. As of right now, I'm going to the free throw line. So now I'm gonna retreat dribble backwards with my head up. And then I'm gonna cross it over. All right, and now I'm going down with my left hand. So now I'm here, I'm going down, I'm going down. All the way to the free throw line, boom. Backwards, going backwards. So now I'm here at the baseline. Now I'm doing crossovers, okay? I'm doing crossovers, back and forth, back and forth. All right, back and forth. Head is up, back and forth. Boom. Now after this, we're gonna go between the legs to the free throw line, and then we're gonna go behind the back to the free throw line, okay? Both down and back. So I'm here, I'm gonna go two dribbles, and then I'm gonna cross, all right? So I'm gonna go one, two, cross. One, two, cross. One, two, cross. All right, I'm gonna turn around. One, two, cross. One, two, cross. One, two, cross. Okay, so now I'm gonna go behind the back. I'm going behind the back. All right, so one, two, behind, one, two, behind, behind. All right, so now I'm here, same thing. One, two, behind, one, two, behind, one, two, behind. Ooh, that was close. Almost lost it. When it comes to doing the drills, from the baseline to the free throw, you see how I did the right pounds, left pounds, and then you did back and forth crossover, and you did the one, two between the legs, one, two behind the back. You could do those for three sets. I went from the free throw line and back, you could go to half court and back. 
if you want more of a challenge, you could go baseline to baseline. Now, like I said, when it comes to dribbling a tennis ball, it might be tough, but don't be discouraged. Just keep it in the back of your mind. If you could do it with a tennis ball, you can definitely do it with a basketball. So that's it when it comes to the tennis ball. This is a good tennis ball drill to start off with. If this is your first time trying to incorporate a tennis ball into your workouts, especially if you're a guard and you want to improve your handles, this is a great tennis ball workout to start with. Now that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it gave you guys some value. If it did, please do us a big favor and give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or any comments that you want to make, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos that comes out. All right, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And always remember, the lion mentality lives here.